Good evening, everyone. Happy Friday evening. Uh, tonight we're doing a 2019 baseball prospect mixer made up of, in this order, three boxes of Panini Elite Extra Baseball, three boxes of Bowman's Best, one box of Bowman Draft Jumbo, and one box of Bowman Draft Super Jumbo. So thanks for everyone for getting your payments in on eBay before the break starts. Uh, if you're in the room live, feel free to say hello. Looks like we got... Mikey and Terry in here, so welcome. Maybe some first first time with me luck for Terry with the Braves. I'll do Elite Extra first. Ten hits per box. We'll just go through pack by pack because there's multiple hits in each pack. Hey, Jason. Buy my sports cards. And another Jason. Jason's everywhere. All right. I'm a Jason too. So. All right. Got a lot of folks in chat. I like it. Thanks, guys. All right. Jumping right in. Abraham Toro to 75 for Houston. We've got a Team USA auto, Matthew Matthew. Mathis, probably. That is to 99. 15 and under team. Going to the Team USA spot. Chicago, Jose Rodriguez. We're in black, so I'm going to assume White Sox, but I double check all of the players for Chicago, LA, and New York if I don't automatically know them. Leo Crawford to 49 for Los Angeles. I think that's Dodgers, but again, I will double check. Just don't want to take everyone's time up looking them up during the break, but I will get them properly sorted. New York, Kanan Smith, base. Brian Rocio to 99, Cleveland. Arizona, we got an on-card auto, Tristan English. Miami, we've got a double patch for Victor, Victor Mesa, Vic squared to 399. Go to the Marlins. International spot base card Miguel Tamares and Toronto base card Alec Manoa. Quinn Priester for the Pirates to 250. San Diego, we've got an on card Joshua Mears. Nice looking auto there. Los Angeles, Devin Mann in blue, so maybe Dodgers, but that could be deceiving. Got a decoy. Los Angeles, Ryan Pepio, that's an optic base. And Arizona, Ryan Nelson. Miguel Geraldo, Toronto, that's numbered to 100. For Minnesota, number to 249, Brent Rooker, Patch Auto. Atlanta, Justin Dean, Auto. International team to 100, Raybel Rosso. LA, this is Angels, I know, Jack Kokanovich. Glen Allen Hill Jr. for Arizona to 125. 
Los Angeles Miguel Vargas. That is on card. That is numbered to 50. Very nice. I think that's Dodgers. That's low numbered enough. I'm going to look that up real quick. Second. Sometimes these guys are. Dodgers. So that's a nice on card auto to 50 for the Dodgers. We've got a Team USA patch to 99, Reese Hines. Alec Manoa, that'll be Blue Jays, Contenders Optic, base. And Davis Wentz over Texas, base. And this box one. Hey, Dax. All right, box number two, Elite Extra. Kyle Stowers, Baltimore to 150. Arizona on card, Dominic Fletcher. Ooh, and this goes Team USA spot. Adley Rutschman. Very nice. He's in his Team USA uniform. It says Team USA, so that goes to. Team USA spot and not the Orioles. Wesley Zapata for the international base. LA Deshaun Knowles base. Randy Rosarena, Cardinals 250. He's with the Rays now. That goes Cardinals. Chicago, Matthew Thompson on car. I think that's White Sox. But again, I will double check that. Sandy Gaston, Tampa Bay to 75, auto. Uh, for Rutschman, it goes to... Goes to the Team USA spot because that's the that's the team listed on the card. There are some that crop that are in both their major league team and I know Group Break Checklist did only ones that don't have a major league team, but in my listing I said if it's for the team for Team USA and that obviously is for that one. Here's an ad. This is Natalie that will go to the Orioles. It says Baltimore. Boston Noah Song base. Carl Kaufman, Colorado to seventy five. Philadelphia, Luis Garcia, Patch Auto to forty nine. Toronto, Alejandro Kirk, auto. Tyler Dyson, I will look up that team. It's a contender's optic auto. Ryan Garcia, Texas base. Drew Rom, Baltimore base. Jason Dominguez, Optic. Very nice. Base carb, that's a good one. Yankees. That's the guy you want for the Yankees. 
Brennan Malone patched to 99. This goes Team USA. Dasan Brown on card Toronto. And Los Angeles, Aaron Hernandez, unfortunate name, to 250. John Doxakis to 75 for Tampa Bay. On card, Jack Kokanovich for the Angels. Leo Crawford, Los Angeles, base auto. Rodolfo Caraballo for the International to 250. And LA Jimmy Lewis, base. Hey, fly fish. Bobby White Jr. Royals to 150. Oswaldo Cabrera, New York. I think that might be Yankees, but I will check. DJ Sikama on card to 75. I know that's Yankees. Elysial Chalas, base for international spot. And Jacob Sanford, base, that is Yankees. Uh, Seth Johnson, Tampa Bay base. L.A. Miguel Vargas, I think Dodgers, but I'll double check. That's an optic base. For Texas, Leone Taveras, triple patch to 199. Pittsburgh to 75, on card auto Quinn Priester. In Texas to 250, Josh Young. Philadelphia, David Parkinson to 99. Alika Williams to 25, Collegiate National Team, Team USA. Elian Corturial, international team, auto. Kyle McCann, Oakland, optic base. And Luis Angel Acuna, base card for Texas. Braden Shoemake, base card, Atlanta. Braylon Marquez, I think that's Cubs, so I'll double check, that is the 49. Monte Harrison, Miami to 99, patch. Michael Grove, I think that's Dodgers, auto. St. Louis, Ivan Herrera to 125. Ronnie Brito to 100, Toronto. 
Aaron Hernandez, LA, uh, base auto. International team, Johnny Severino to 75. Decoy. Yasser Mercedes, Dominican, that's international to 100. And Arizona Tristan English base. That's it for Elite Extra. Now on to box one of Bowman's Best. Oh, no problem, Jason. I It sucks when there's a little bit of ambiguity like that. And they do that with a number of players. I think Bobby Witt, um, some of the other big-name guys have some Team USA cards as well. Uh, hopefully there'll be Adley Inc. in one of these other boxes. It's much, much, much better than some patch. All right, box one of Bowman's Best. Good luck. Got a die cut of Brock Detheridge for the Tigers. First auto for the Yankees, Luis Gill. Got a Vladdy Jr. die cut. Arizona, John Duplantier, rookie auto. Got a Garrett Cole to 150 for the Astros. Blaze Alexander die cut for the Diamondbacks. Ooh. That's a nice looking card. Not numbered, but that's a, an Atomic Vladdy Jr. franchise favorites base card, non auto. But still cool. And for the Yankees, nice one here, Davey Garcia. It's one of the big names in Bowman Chrome this year. Uh, it's just a base card. The ba the case hit is the uh, is the signed one. 
but that is still pretty cool. Corbin Carroll, Atomic for the Diamondbacks. And for the Pittsburgh Pirates, Mitch Keller, Rookie Auto. Yeah, that would have been a big, a big hit if that one was a signed one. I think the best franchise favorites I've hit so far is a C.J. Abrams. For a recent break, I did. I think I pulled a Keone Cavaco Atomic for the Twins. Still haven't I've never pulled one of the Griffey Jr. franchise favorites. That's probably big, that's one of the biggest ones. Oh, really? CJ get traded that quick? It'd be like when K Kalenic was dealt from the Mets for the Edwin Diaz trade. I think that's going to bite him in the ass. I'm just wondering if this whole stealing sign buzzer thing is going to lead to some lifetime bans. A lot of comparisons have been made to Pete Rose, who banned for life because he bet on his team to win and gambled on baseball, which is against the rules for sure. But, you know, and, and Shoeless Joe, you know, threw a World Series even though he batted like 400. I mean, this stuff was. If you're facing a guy that, let's say, like Kershaw with a, an elite slider and an elite fastball, and you know the slider or fastball is coming, your chances of success go up 80%. Yeah, I mean, it's, you know, back back when this happened, I think a lot of, a lot of the pig roast thing was just simply... It was a pissing match between him and the commissioner. He refused to apologize or admit he did wrong, so he didn't let him in. But, I mean, you look at what he did on the field. I mean, we're, we're okay forgiving Ty Cobb, who was a, just a god-awful human being. But Pete Rose had a couple of vices, and he can't get in. That's just it's silly to me. Nico Horner, die-cut Cubs. Uh oh. Woo! I pulled a couple of these. PD to 99 Mets. Very nice. Pete Alonzo Auto on the Power Producers insert to 99. It's on a sticker, unfortunately, but that's still a Pete Alonzo. No complaints there. Like Bobby Heenan always said, win if you can, lose if you must, but always cheat. Rowdy Tellez, Atomic for the Blue Jays. And Yankees got another Davey. Base, but still good. Yankees paid up for their spot, so getting some, some nice ink. No Dominguez ain't an elite extra, but a couple Davies is pretty good still. Got a Mookie to 99 Red Sox. Seth Beer, D backs, die cut.
Dodgers, Cody Hose, base auto. Victor Mesa Jr. die cut, Marlins. Tampa Bay Rays, Greg Jones, base auto. You know, all LA needs now is that uh, the Michael Bush. We got the got the prospect duel. Twenty twenty series one coming out in a few weeks. I know it's not a sexy product, but I have tons of it coming in case anyone is interested in some. Let me know. Got it listed on eBay. If it's away from eBay, I can obviously do better on price. I have some listed on my website as well. People are actually fairly optimistic about series one this year because the rookie class looks pretty strong. Gavin Lux, Bo Bichette, obviously Jordan Alvarez. Don't know if they're going to put Nico Horner in there or hold him back for Series 2. But people are pretty, pretty happy so far with the rookie class. Okay, third and final box of Bowman's Best. Ronaldo Hernandez, Rays. Colorado Rockies, we got Michael Toglia, base auto. Nolan Gorman, Cardinals, die cut. For the Houston Astros, Seth Beer. All of his signed stuff is Houston, all of his unsigned stuff is D-backs. So obviously with the D-backs now. Eco Horner, Cubs, die cut. Oh, here we go. Have some color to it. Damn. We'll like some color there. Riley Green, Tigers. Very nice. Best card I pulled from Bowman Draft still is the red Riley Green. I don't think I'm going to top that one, but maybe, maybe. That'd be nice if I did. It's got a green Max Scherzer, Nats to 99. Got a Reese Hoskins, Atomic Phillies.
And Toronto Blue Jays base auto Alec Manoa. Oh, nice. Yeah, I think when I pulled, I think I pulled the Riley Green out of a half case break. Guy paid like, well, paid market price for the Tigers, but paid 45 bucks or so, something like that. And cards worth probably thousands, a couple thousand maybe. All right, doing jumbo first. Oh, really? Yeah, I looked at comps for the real low-numbered stuff. Oh, I, I, it was one of my customers in a break. But if I would have hit it, I would have definitely kept it, for sure. Um, although, if the prices were big enough, I might part with it. But no, it was a customer. He was very happy. Big return on investment there. All right, Bowman Draft. Box one. Room here. Yeah, the red, the red green that I hit in the in the or for one of my customers I hit was in Bowman Draft. That's a big one. And this is a pretty nice one to start. We got a refractor auto of Josh Young, Texas. And for the D-backs, Dre Jameson, base auto. Yeah, it'll probably be a good, uh, if you can get a draft auto, it's definitely a much better investment, especially if he pops. It looks like a good prospect. I know Wander tore it up this year. He could keep jumping up in value. Bart was hurt from part of the year, but he did well when he was in, I think.
got a 25, non-auto, but that's still nice. Michael Massey, first Bowman. A little orange for the Royals. Yeah, I've uh, I've had a lot of customers tell me that they they'll go and just they'll take like their base their base Bowman cards to the like especially low A is especially easy or if it's rook rookie league or something like that and just get a whole bunch of stuff signed. I think that's really cool. Alec Marsh, sky blue to four ninety nine KC. Up near me, the, I'm in the Chicago suburbs, so the only minor league team with an affiliation is Kane County Cougars out in the far west suburbs. They're the Diamondbacks low A team. So I guess I could go out and catch some of those guys. And we got a Michael Bush for the Dodgers. Base auto, first Bowman. Oh wow, that's cool, Flyfish. Yeah, I read uh, I read Moneyball, and it was kind of funny, like hindsight being twenty twenty. But one of his one of his big things as GM when he drafted, he did he did not like drafting high school players because they busted out way too much. Glenn Allen Hill Jr. for the D backs to two fifty paper, and so when he was first hired as GM, he didn't do the draft because he was too new, but he was in there in the draft room. And their very first pick, they picked in the top ten. And they uh, and they picked a high schooler. And he, I guess he picked up the phone that was near him. This old day still had phones on, like, tables. And threw it through the wall. Well, it turns out the high schooler they chose was Jeremy Bonderman, who ended up having a pretty good, pretty good pro career. He was on the... Tigers team that went to the World Series. I thought that was kind of funny right at the very beginning. Yeah, Joseph, I'm a I'm a Cardinal fan myself, so I grew up in Galesburg, Illinois, which is close to Peoria, which is now the Low A affiliate for the Cardinals. So Gorman played there this past year. Or for at least part of the year, I think. Green paper. Ooh. Dios Bell Arias, Rangers. Okay, that is one box of... Bowman Draft Jumbo, now we're on to Super. I do not like the way they do these packs. together bricks.
Ah, Petco Park, the place where hitters go to die. Wonder if they've done anything since then to make it a little more offensive friendly. Got CJ Abrams, sky blue for the Padres. And first auto for the Twins, Matt Cantorino to 250, purple. Yeah, well, definitely a pitcher's park. Just throw it and let them hit it, and hopefully you got speedy outfielders that can go track stuff down. Similar to the Miami Marlins stadium, that thing is just cavernous. Back to the whole sign stealing thing. Someone, it's like some sort of like 70s baseball nostalgia Twitter account, basically tweeted out a picture of Bob Gibson and said, If Bobby knew you were stealing signs, the only buzz you would feel is from your defibrillator. <laughs> that was pretty good. That some bitch was mean. Pitcher so dominant they had to change the rules because of him and lower the mound. Sky blue Isaiah Gilliam for the Yankees, 499. Oh, what do we got here? Cameron Cannon. We got a gold wave to 50. Red Sox. Got a purple paper, Evan Fitterer for Miami. Got a speckle of Cody Hose for the Dodgers. And we got Sammy Ciani for the Pirates base auto. Yeah, Cardinal fans are still salty about the way the Cardinals gave up fam. They got pretty well raped by the Rays in that deal, but then I think they pretty much raped the Rays in the Liberator deal that just happened. So, kind of got even them Rays fans, I think, are a little pissed that they gave up fam. And Profar, if he can put it together the way, his, the way he was when he was a prospect, he could be a pretty big steal himself.
And this is numbered to 50. It's hard to tell in some of these, but Pirates Franchise Futures. Looks like you got Priester and Siani on there. Well, if uh, a Rosa Reina is one of those guys that they got in the Libertor trades in the Cardinals, that he can be a good center fielder, and he also projects decently as a corner outfielder as well. And if you don't mind a little having a little adventure, if you put Jose Martinez out there, his bat is great. He's a born DH, but he can run around in the outfield and look like an idiot. As long as there's no balls hit his way, you'll be fine. Plus, Pham has a weird eye condition. Um, they could, he could basically go blind. <laughs> uh, Quinn Priester to 250 Pirates. And we've got another Cantorino for the Twins base. I think Pham had to get his contacts changed like every month when he was with the Cardinals. Yeah, the Cardinals raised deal for the had Liberatory, and I think that kind of helped both teams because the Cardinals had a huge glut of outfielders and nowhere to put them, and they needed some pitching help in their prospect pool. So Liberatory is definitely that. Yeah, Sam is just a good all-around ball player. Plus, he's a good—he's just a good energy guy. I, I, I miss him not being in St. Louis. Hadley base in there. Blue paper and a seam Nunez for the Marlins. And we've got Kendall Williams, base auto for the Blue Jays. I'll do a quick hit recap of the, all the stuff except Elite Extra because there's just so much of that. But all the Bowman stuff, I'll do a quick hit recap right about now. we got no randoms to do. All right, quick hit recap for everybody. We've got Kendall Williams for the Blue Jays, Cantorino for the Twins. We've got a gold number to 50 franchise futures card for the Pirates. We got a Siani for the Pirates. Gold wave to 50 Cannon for the Red Sox. We've got a purple Cantorino to 250 for the Twins. Michael Bush Dodgers. Michael Massey, orange base for, and that's chrome, for the Royals. Dre Jameson for the D-backs. Josh Young, refractor auto to 499 Rangers. Nice one. And the Bowman's best autos. We've got Manoa for the Blue Jays. Got Riley Green for the Tigers. Seth Beer for the Astros. Toglia for the Rockies. Greg Jones, Rays. Cody Hose, Dodgers. Davey for the Yankees. Alonzo to 99 for the Mets. Nice one. Mitch Keller, rookie auto for the Pirates. Another Davey for the Yankees. We've got a Vlad Jr. franchise favorites, Base Atomic. 
Duplantier for the D-backs. It's not a break without a Duplantier auto. And Luis Gill for the Yanks. Well, hopefully, hopefully get some luck here soon, Flyfish. Um, so, yeah, that'll do it. As far as stuff coming up, uh, Monday I am doing a football mixer. Tuesday I am doing a baseball mixer that will have immaculate baseball, triple threads, uh, I think optic and chronicles, and then I think clearly authentic and archive sigs retired player. Um, and Sunday doing a full case of Revolution Basketball, 16 boxes. I'm going to cover in all three major sports. That is on my website right now. Um, I will be putting unsold teams on Saturday night to eBay for one-day auctions for a Sunday break. Um, so if you're into a little bit of basketball, things are pretty hot with that rookie class, especially Zion. So uh, check that on the website. And just in general, if you want to check out the website, get on the email list. Um, I do put up uh, breaks on there. I'm going to eventually be putting these mixers on the website first. It's just a little bit more of a challenge to price. So that's kind of a next phase, but those will go up eventually, and then I'll kind of do the unsold teams to eBay. Um, because I've been doing really well with them on eBay, um, and so I think give folks a chance over on the website, get that grown up a little bit. And then um, the next... Like I said, that we're out of the 2019 window for baseball. I'll be doing a, two or three more of these prospect mixers. Keep an eye on eBay for those. Um, as I said, 2020 Series 1 comes out in the first week of February, I think the 5th, the Friday. Uh, I think it's Friday. It might be a Wednesday. But whatever the case may be, it's February 5th. So if you want any, I have some listed on my website. Um, you can also email me through the website if you want to try to work a deal. I can be pretty good on price there. Um, uh, away from eBay obviously is better because I avoid the 10% fee that eBay charges um, but I do have a lot of it so I can I can move a good amount if you're interested it should be a pretty decent product and also uh, the week before series one is they're actually re releasing 2020 archive SIGs active player edition a week before that's one of those where it's one card per box and it's encased and signed um, not a terribly fancy product but it's, it's something to start off the palette. So I'll be putting those likely on eBay or on the website uh, when that comes out. So I think that covers pretty much everything. Uh, like I said, keep an, keep an eye on the eBay store. Uh, most of the stuff will go up there, but I have the website, Twitter, and Facebook group. You can check out all those as well. You can contact me any of those three places. You can obviously contact me through eBay if you have any questions or concerns. Um, but other than that, I will let everyone get back to your Friday evening. Thanks again, everyone, for... Your business, getting the payments in for the break, all that good stuff, and hope you have a great weekend, and hopefully see you again soon. Have a good night, everybody.